Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to continue working our confidence interval type of problems. Uh, these problems are not that really any much different or they're not really uh, certainly much harder, but they're just giving you additional practice uh, so that you can read a problem and understand what you're asked uh, to do. But before we get to that, uh, the first problem we're going to have isn't really much of a word problem. It's more just kind of getting you more comfortable with the math going on here. So this could be any problem you desire, any sort of situation where the sample size n is 89, the standard deviation of the sample uh, that we brought back was 2.01, the confidence level of the confidence interval that we want to have is 95%, so we say that c is 0.95, and the mean of the samples that we have collected is 45. And what we want to construct is a 95% percent confidence interval for this data. So you see this is not a word problem, it's just giving you a bunch of numbers, but uh, you know on all the problems so far I've given you a narrative and given you kind of information for you to kind of chew on, and so we've learned how to do those kinds of problems. But in many cases on quizzes and tests, your professor or your teacher will just give you data like this and say find the confidence interval, and you need to understand what that's saying here. So in many cases it's, it's beneficial for you to kind of make up your own problem, make up your own narrative so you understand what's happening. Here we have taken a survey of people, let's say, even though it doesn't say this, we can kind of imagine that, and we've surveyed 89 people, that's what the N means, and we could ask them any question we want, but ultimately we're trying to find a 95% confidence interval for some data. Uh, when we're talking about confidence intervals in this case, we're talking about the population mean. So we're taking a small subset of the population, 89 people in this case, and we're asking them a question, and we're trying to, from that, calculate a confidence interval that would contain the population mean. So in this case, it could be anything we want. We could ask 89 people, hey, how many minutes does it take you to mow your lawn, right? And we could ask all 89 people that, and the average of the answers that come back is 45 minutes, let's say, all right? Now, some people are going to take an hour to do their lawn. Some people are going to take 30 minutes. Some people are going to take 20 minutes. Some people are going to take two hours. But the mean of all of these 89 people that come back is actually 45 minutes. That's what this would represent. And the standard deviation of the answers that come back is 2.01 minutes, right? So very tight standard deviation when you really look at this particular data. Uh, here and we're kind of gets a little bit contrived because um, you know we're making this up. This wasn't provided in the problem. This is just something that we're doing to kind of help our, ourselves understand. This is what the data means. This is the average of the answers we get. This is the spread of the data that we get about the mean, and this is the confidence level that we're at. So in, in order to proceed, we need to calculate the margin of error. Because what we're going to do is use the average value we get back as the point estimate, and we'll go plus or minus with our margin of error. The margin of error 